Hello, my name is John Lee and I'm the president of Alpha Training and Consulting and I have a true passion for preparing people for ASQ certification exams. It's a great thing, these ASQ certification exams. Now, the question I'm going to answer today is this. What is the Six Sigma Green Belt body of knowledge? This is a great question if you're considering to take the test. So let's review that real quick. Uh, first of all, ASQ takes the body of knowledge and breaks it up into six categories. And so we'll review that and I'll go over also how many test questions are on the test on that part of the body of knowledge. The first element is overview of Six Sigma and the organization. You're going to get 13 questions on that. Then the divi define phase, uh, 23 questions, one of the big hitters there on the test. Measure phase, uh, 23. Analyze phase, which is one of the more difficult elements of the body of knowledge, I feel has been my experience for most students, and there's 15 questions there. Improve phase, 15 questions there too. That's also a hard chapter. Analyze, improve are probably the most difficult elements of the body of knowledge. Then of course we have the control phase with 11 questions on that one. Then they're going to give you 10 beta questions on the green belt exam. Beta questions are just questions that ASQ has had written, and now they're just going to test them in a testing environment to see if they're worthy to be used in future exams. And so that'll give you 110 questions. Now those beta questions, if you miss one, it doesn't count against you. Of course, if you get it right, it's not going to help you either. Uh, so they're just testing the question to see what its pass rate is, see if anyone complains about it, things like that. Now, uh, the Green Belt exam is a four and a half hour exam with 110 questions. That equates to two minutes and 27 seconds per question. Now that's uh, more time than the average ASQ exam. Most ASQ exams are under two minutes, so you have two minutes, 27 seconds per question. That's not bad at all. Now this bar chart, now don't get, they also ask hard questions, so if you think this is going to be easy, it's not. You need to be very well organized if time is not going to be a big constraint to you. And you don't want time to be a constraint because then test anxiety sneaks in. So you need to be well organized and ready to go when you take this exam. Uh, again, this bar chart teaches the same thing on the table, just a little more graphical. You can see the big hitters here is the measure phase and define phase. Um, but the most difficult ones that students struggle with is the improve and analyze phase. Okay, So, oh, and then it looks like I missed that out of the question. I was just noticing that. Um, but uh, Six Sigma and the or oh no, I got it up there, I'm sorry. And here is the link that you can go to the ASQ website where I got this information should you desire to do so. Now maybe this will help you more than anything else. I put a class together to cover the body of knowledge and you can see the title of the class or the lecture and how much time I spend on each topic. And then we come over here and, and my lectures don't cover 100% of the body of knowledge. It covers a large portion but I hit the more difficult elements and things they test on most frequently. But then we also uh, go over the uh, green belt primer. You'll review that, and then I lecture on each of those chapters. So by the time we're finished, then, uh, you know, we cover the whole body of knowledge. And which one is most difficult? That's chapter 9. Notice I spend almost three hours on that one to get you prepared. That's the, that's the one students struggle with the most. And then, of course, we have uh, practice exams just before you go and take the certification exam to make sure you're good to go. All right, hopefully that was helpful. Uh, remember, I have passed most of the ASQ certification exams, including the Green Belt exam. It's a wonderful certification. I've been doing this for 20 years. I've been continuous improvement for 20 years on your class here, so you know you're going to get a great class if you allow me to join you in your ASQ certification journey. There is, this is my contact information, should you desire to contact me. If you do, I'll get back with you as soon as possible. Hey, thank you for joining me, and have a great day. Goodbye.